Okay, so now we're going to look at what makes up your computer system. These are the main components of a computer system, and we're going to concentrate on the hardware, the hardware side. Now remember the hardware is the physical, tangible things you can touch. You can see them, you can grab them, you can touch them, you can throw them around the room, although we should probably not do that. So let's see what we have first. We have the motherboard. Here we have a motherboard, okay? This is pretty much like the backbone of your computer. It allows all the components of your computer system to connect to each other, to communicate with each other, and to receive power from the main power supply unit so it is very important that you have a motherboard in a computer system then we have this guy the CPU the central processing unit now the central processing unit is what a lot of people refer to as the brain of the computer it does all of the calculations that's what it is it's like a really really super fast calculator it is able to perform calculations really really fast it also processes instructions when we provide the computer with instructions we tell it to do something the processor is what then executes that instruction to the relevant parts of the pros of the system this is a heatsink with a cooling fan all right here is the heatsink there it is there okay the sink is like a very uh, cool metal and it uh, stays cool and it draws the heat away from the CPU. The fan obviously helps for that as well. So the reason we have this is because a processor gets really hot when you're using it. And the more applications you have running, the more stuff you're doing on the computer, the hotter your processor is getting. So we have a heat sink with a cooling fan to help keep the CPU nice and cool. Now, RAM, random access memory, probably the most misunderstood concept for most CAT students till about halfway through grade 10. Then it starts to make sense. Now, although this is called memory, you must remember that this is temporary memory. RAM is where everything that is currently taking place in your computer system is being held. It's being held in RAM, the memory. Okay, it's got special microchips on. There's one there, it's got a sticker on it. There's another one there. And what it does is this slots onto the motherboard and it can hold a certain amount of data. The more RAM you have, the more data it can hold. And of course, the more you can do with your computer. It's temporary because when you switch off the computer or there's a power failure for some reason, load shedding, hmm, then everything gets wiped out from RAM. It gets cleared. So unless you've saved your work, and we always say save your work, unless you've saved your work, your work is gone. So please, if you're working on something, keep saving. RAM, temporary, random access memory. The HDD, the hard disk drive. Now, the hard disk drive is where we store our data or information permanently. This is not temporary storage like RAM was, this is permanent storage. This is the actual case. This is what the case of a, of a hard disk drive looks like. So when you say that's a hard disk drive, actually the disk drive is inside the case, which is why I put this picture over here for you. So you can see that that is the hard disk drive. There they are there. One, two, three, four platters. There they are there. I'm not talking ocean basket. I'm talking actual disks, magnetic disks with a needle right over there and this little needle just moves backwards and forwards super fast and it reads and writes data to this magnetic disk that's okay so make sense I hope so permanent storage right what's next the solid state drive a little bit different to the hard drive the hard drive that we saw here was a spinning disk it spins around really really fast this one however has no disk there's no spinning disk there's no moving parts whatsoever on a solid state drive this is electronic storage so it's kind of like a USB flash memory stick but on steroids okay it's it's super fast super quiet very reliable not easy to damage okay and this is where hard drive storage is going in the future we're moving away from magnetic storage onto electronic storage and this is what a typical solid state drive looks like inside 
optical drive I'm sure you've seen these again these are probably going to be obsolete in a few years from now that's what I think anyway and you can see that the optical drive uses discs all right CD-ROMs DVDs blu-ray discs and we burn data onto the disc using a laser believe it or not it's true a video or graphics card well, this is part of your display. So this is, you know, for gamers, they would want to have, uh, they wouldn't use an onboard graphics display uh, that would come on the motherboard. They'd buy a very fancy one. And you can see that this one actually has a fan on it. That means it has its own processor as well. So it's got its own processing unit, a fan to keep it cool. And there are your outputs over there. Okay, so this is a graphics card made to produce high quality graphics more for graphic designers or people who need high quality graphics or gamers for example uh, last but not least the power supply unit the PSU well without this guy you can't switch on your computer you can't start anything so this is the PSU it's got a fan to keep the, all the components cool but also to suck the air out the hot air out you don't want to have hot air in your system lots and lots of ports and not ports um, connection points here to connect uh, hard drives and other components within your system and there is the main plug that you we call it a kettle plug um, but it's not actually called a kettle plug we just do and that's where we plug it in so there you go those are the hardware components of your computer system